descendants in Channel 5 Action News. Our big story today is centered around the new fad among degenerates, oil wrestling. As the group prepares for the peak oil season, spring break, the oil trucks were involved in a crash, causing a major spill along I-5. Our guest this week, Dr. Charles Cubenza, my co-remediation specialist, is on site with Steve Newsworthy to discuss his ideas on how to clean up this oil spill and on how to save oil wrestling's pristine reputation. Over to you, Steve. I'm Steve <laughs> Newsworthy. I'm here with world-renowned myco-remediation specialist, Dr. Charles Cubenza, who's going to share with us some information about the process of myco-remediation. Dr. Cubenza, what is myco-remediation? Well, Steve, Microremediation is the utilization of fungi, what I like to call eco-warriors. These eco-warriors are fighting the good fight against harmful environmental contaminants. Dr. Kubenza, why would you use microremediation to clean up an oil spill? Well, Steve, it gives me a job, and that, that's the best reason of all. But for other reasons, it's low cost low infrastructure, you don't have to deal with secondary waste. These are very important factors when considering remediation. And I have to ask, our listeners are concerned, what are the dangers with a spill of this magnitude? Well, Steve, I brought you along a little video clip for you guys to take a look at the dangers of oil spills. Let's take a look at that clip. Will you watch the world burn from your jet? Or plant a tree on your spaceship? We'll never find another home. But we can feel the wind blow. Will you watch the world burn from your jet? Or plant a tree on your spaceship? How exactly does micro-remediation work? Well, Steve, why don't we just hop on into my laboratory and we can take a closer look at how micro-remediation really works. Hello there, folks, and welcome to my laboratory. This here is where we do experimentations on micro-remediation. So you start out, you got your soil, and your soil's got oil in it. And you take, so then you take your spores, your mushroom spores, and you sprinkle them here and there, you sprinkle them throughout your site. Now, now these spores, they're going to start growing myceliums. And these myceliums, they're penetrating through the soil, eating up those hydrocarbons. Now, those hydrocarbons don't produce enough energy for these, for these mushrooms. So you got to add some wood chips. So we add a little wood chips here or there. A couple different times you add some wood chips as a food source. Now that's by stimulation. Now, you leave the site. You go away, say about eight weeks. And you come back, and what do you have? You have a site that's free of oil, no oil, and you got these toxic free fruits. These fruits are, both, are edible for both me and you. We can eat them. You see? They're very, very tasty. Now, folks, let me just chew this a little bit. Don't talk with your mouth full, kids. Well, thank you, folks, for coming to my lab. I appreciate it very much. And remember, kids, mushrooms are your friend. That's all fascinating, Dr. Cabenza. Our viewers appreciate spending time with you today. For Action 5 News, here in the field, I'm Steve Newsworthy. Back to you, Diane. Thank you, Steve and Dr. Cubenza. It's nice to know that the oil wrestling industry is in good hands. At 11, we bring you a breaking story about an OSU teacher, Keaton Lesnick, who comes up missing the day after final grades come out. Hear more at 11. I think I'm ready. I think you're ready. Woo! <laughs> that's, that's, that's going in the bumpers. That's pretty good timing. Because we both kind of did the woo at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Steve dared me to do the news topless. I've got the goods. But do I got the guts? Find out at 11. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Are they marshmallows? Yeah. I can't throw. I got a broken collarbone. Left. <laughs> I got it. Weapon of choice. <laughs> the marshmallow gun. <laughs> You guys hear about that new movie? That new Indiana Jones movie? Uh, what's it called? Uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Mushrooms? <laughs> yeah, you, you know who, who who's starring in it? Harrison Sport. <laughs> <laughs> when people ask me, how much can the mushrooms remediate? I say, as far as my Celia can see. <laughs> My Celia, my I Celia, your kids get it? <laughs> eco warrior. These eco warriors are fighting the good fight against harmful environmental contaminants. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cubenza. Good, you're only three minutes in. I mean, why do we use it? Do you need to adjust your glasses? Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> have they been up the whole time? Um, I think yep, they have, yep. <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. Make it the right. Oh, <laughs> it's important. I brought a Rubik's Cube too, in case you, in case you want to put that in your pocket. I have a huge magnifying glass that we were trying to figure out how to get that. For Action 5 News, I'm Steve Newsworthy. Back to you, Diane. Jessica. Somebody get me a Diet Pepsi! <laughs> and that's enough fun guy for one day. <laughs> <laughs>